Hello. Hello. I'm Kay. And me, I'm Alex. Welcome to our today's fun and easy tour. Um, you know, if you go to a Korean village, you can see many interesting things which uh, town people have no idea about. Like some statues of wood and some symbols, yeah? So, uh, Kay, can you give us some kind of idea what we will be talking about today? And why am I mentioning the villages? The first thing that you'll see when you enter a town in Korea is something called Sotbe. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see what this Sotbe is. Let's go! Oh look! There is something on the top of that pole. What is it? That's a carving of a bird. Poles like this are called Sotbe. They were put up outside villages to keep harm away. Why did they erect a pole with a bird on it? Because in ancient times, people saw birds as messengers connecting them to heaven. Oh, I see. What kind of bird did they put on the pole? Usually ducks, or sometimes crows, wild geese, or magpies. How interesting. Yeah, belief in such village guardians was common throughout the Northeast Asia. Can you explain more about ancient beliefs related to birds? Well, the ancient tomb murals of the Kogure Kingdom have many drawings of three-legged crows. And a lot of duck-shaped bowls have been found in Shilla royal tombs. I see. There is something on top of that pole. What is it? Oh, 저거 봐. 뭔가 장대 위에 있어. 저거 뭐지? That's a carving of a bird. Poles like this are called 솥대. They were put up outside villages to keep harm away. 새를 조각해 놓은 것으로 솥대라고 해. 촛대는 마을 밖에서 마을로 들어오는 해를 쫓기 위해서 있는 거야. Why did they erect a pole with a bird on it? 왜 장대 위에 새 모양을 올려놓았을까요? Because in ancient times, people saw birds as messengers connecting them to heaven. 고대 사람들은 새는 사람과 하늘을 연결하는 메신저라고 여겼기 때문이야. Oh, I see. What kind of bird did they put on the pole? 그렇구나. 그런데 어떤 새를 장대 위에 올려놓았지? Usually ducks, or sometimes crows, wild geese, or magpies. 되게 오리지만 일부 지방에서는 까마귀, 기러기 또는 까치도 보여. Oh, how interesting. 참 흥미롭다. Yeah, beliefs in such village guardians was common throughout Northeast Asia. 그래, 마을의 수호신에 대한 신앙은 동북 아시아 여러 지역에서 공통되게 나타나고 있어. Can you explain more about ancient beliefs on birds? 새에 대한 신앙을 더 설명해 줄수 있니? Well, the ancient two murals of the Kogurya kingdom have many drawings of three-legged crows, and a lot of duck-shaped bowls have been found in Shilla royal tombs. 글쎄, 고구려 왕릉에 세발 달린 까마귀가 그려져 있고, 신라의 왕릉에서는 많은 오리 모양의 그릇이 발견되었어. I see. 그렇구나. So now you know what are those weird bird looking things in front of villages. Uh, okay, have you ever seen a sote in real life? Yes, when I would go to my grandparents' house, there used to be one in front of the town entrance. Hmm, interesting. Let's continue with our exploration of Korea next time. See you!